This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. Thank you for joining us live. That's right. We are just a couple hours away from kickoff, and we are here at Maine Annual Stadium as the state runners-up are looking to go back to another state championship game and hopefully capture that hardware. As well, Union Endicott, the Tigers warming up behind me. The two teams will kick off tonight and kick off football here in the southern tier as a handful of teams around section four will get ready as week zero starts our coverage here but before we can really get going we still have to wrap up the preseason we have to wrap up our preseason playbooks and 12 sports is keith savage got to spend the day in norwich learning how the tornado are looking to touch down on the rest of the section this preseason playbook is sponsored by countryside stoves and chimneys Head coach Michael Christie has been leading the Norwich Purple Tornado for a dozen years now. Last year's team fell short in the Section 4 semifinals. Norwich lost the main NRL on the Spartans' way to the state title game. Christie says this year's team, though, feels different than once in the past. This group really loves football, um, and that's kind of unique. Not every year do you have a full group of guys that, that truly love Football is their sport, and I feel like this group is really coming together. We're really gelling in the offseason, um, and I'm excited to see what's ahead. Senior Steve McDaddle has been Christie's quarterback for the past three seasons. McDaddle says he has grown since taking the role. Starting as a sophomore, I was really nervous, but the game kind of slows down. As you get older, you get more mature. So I definitely learned a lot, especially from the coach and my teammates. Senior Mitchell Collins grew up 15 minutes north of Norwich in Sherborne. In his freshman year of high school, Collins joined the Tornado community. They, they've taken me in for the most part. You know, I've obviously had a few bumps here and there with some people, but overall, everybody on this team has been very welcoming and very accepting of me coming from Sherman. Collins and Daddle are two of the team's captains. Senior Jack Barnes is also a captain, but is up for the foreseeable future with the injury. As the starting center and linebacker, he's been forced to take more of a leadership role off the field. It's amazing. I mean, I was last year, but this year I'm more... And more captain role, even more feel it, just leading everybody through, kind of teach them lessons. Over the offseason, the team attended multiple camps and Bonnie events. Christy believes that the team's togetherness will determine the season's success. I'm hoping in a positive way it's our team chemistry that we've worked on all offseason. Uh, we had a great summer uh, turnout uh, for the entire varsity team, went to a couple team camps, and, uh, and I think we're really getting along. And, and I told them that that's going to win us, uh, and, and vice versa, could lose this game, depending on where we're at with that. The Tornado touched down for its regular season opener September 8th at Colgate University. Norwich takes on Corlin in a non-league game. Keith Savage, 12 Sports, Chenango County. Thank you once again, Keith. And we will finish up our player season playbooks next week as we get ready for week one. And we're going to get you ready for week zero here and we will throw it back to you, but don't go anywhere. We'll be here at 6. We'll be here 10 and 11 with all the highlights. But until then, reporting live, Zach Grady, 12 Sports, Broome County.